Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is a video in the DevOps project series wherein we would be looking on how to identify the drives that are attached to the server in a Windows drives that are attached to a Windows server to the volumes on AWS console. Now it is very easy if uh, multiple drives are with multiple sizes so you could always refer to the amount of space on the volume and the drive on inside the OS and determine which drive belongs to which volume. But then if let's say D drive and E drive are of the same size uh, let's say 20 GB in our case and if you would like to increase only the D drive this video would help you identify which disk on the OS belongs to which volume or is coming from which volume. So let's get started. So if you now see uh, we have two drives that is the D drive and the E drive and uh, we have to increase the space of only the D drive that is uh, this volume but if you look at the AWS console you would actually see that the EC2 instance is having two drives so one is uh, XVDG and XVDF both of these are 20 GB and uh, in order to determine which drive is belonging to which server is a very big challenge. So in order to uh, overcome this, uh, what you have to do is uh, you need to go to properties of one of the disks and if you see that the disk is NVMe, Amazon EBS Block Skizzy, then uh, you need to follow a different pattern wherein you would be actually running a PowerShell script in order to get the details. Let's also quickly look at the disk that is attached the other disk so if you see the location number is 30 the location number of that disk was 31 and uh, the LUN ID the target ID and the bus number is all zeros if it was a normal if it was a normal EBS based volume right or what you had to do was just check the block devices and you would have got the details of the system so if it is just a normal uh, id then the target id would be different if it is instance store volumes then the target id is different and if it is ebs based volumes then the target id would be this so the target ids would be zero starting with zero and all the way up to 25. Now the problem over here is we are not using EBS based only EBS based volume but our volumes is actually uh, NVMe based EBS volume. So in order to determine that what we have to do is run a PowerShell script into our system. So for that I would open PowerShell. I would open PowerShell ISC and that should be in the administrative mode. Once it is open, it would take approximately 30 to 40 seconds to load and get or download all the plugins that are needed for it to run. And we will run the script once it is ready. So I'll just paste the code and wait for the PowerShell to load in the background. Uh, as I said, this is going to take at least 30 to 40 seconds uh, depending upon the system speed and the network speed. Uh, once you run the script, uh, at the end you are going to get a detailed list of all the drives that is the D drive, C drive and the D drive and the volume ID attached with that drive. The script is actually provided by AWS itself so you would not have to change multiple uh, things into the script you could just copy paste it and run it on all devices. But the script is only going to work if you are uh, using NVMe based storage right so if it is NVMe based storage 
it's only then that the script would be uh, helping you out if you are just using normal EBS based volumes uh, you would have to map the target ID with the target ID on the documentation and then you could determine which drive letter is being used and with the drive letter you could map the volume ID so now that the plugins have been loaded so let's actually run the script uh, the script itself uh, takes uh, about 30 to 40 more seconds to run so we'll just wait for the output So uh, though we have got some uh, errors, uh, we still have the volume ID mapped to the drive letter. So this should be a very good point of reference. So this volume ID which ends with 7D073 is mapped to the D drive. Let's actually go to the volumes uh, that is 70073. I would extend this. Uh, volume so i'll just click on modify and probably i'll extend it only by 5 gb and click on modify as soon as i do this modification uh, the volume should now go into in use but in the modifying state even though it is in the modifying state if i go to the disk management and if i run refresh or rescan disk i should be able to see that the d drive the disk which is used for creating the d drive has now been extended now what i'll do is i'll click on extend volume click on next 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 finish and this should increase the d drive on our server similarly now changing the d drive e drive and the c drive is very much similar on this machine but if you were using um but if you had the same sizes for the d drive and the e drive that is the disk with the same size then this is how you could use the powershell script to actually get the details that's it for this video uh, folks uh, i hope you that's it for this video folks i hope you liked it and was informative that's it for this video guys i hope this was informative and you liked it Thank you so much for watching. Keep having a great day.